it's me Kuno and today I thought I'd show you like a little quick tutorial on how uh, the INI INI the saving feature how it works you know it's okay I'm gonna show you what we got right here it's okay it don't it looks like crap I know but uh, here you can add you can subscribe, subtract. So yeah, let's leave it at five. This one up here, you press the red button, it will reset. But uh, every time you like start, like uh, the app, or like the frame, it will just gain a number. So let's do this again. It's still five, and it's gone up. And we can keep on doing this for forever now it's the free you can go down to free here too why not now there's a four you get the deal so uh, how do you do this yes first you need the ini double click and you look for ini there it is you just put it on out there you don't need to do anything, you can rename it if you want to. But yeah, here is where the magic start. <clears throat> so, start a frame. You want to set the current file to data. So, okay. Set the current file to data. Bam. There we go. But I'm going to remove it because I already did it. And start a frame. This tells us that the save. Oh, by the way, this one is called save, and this tiny counter is called start, as so you guys know. So yeah, so when we start our frame, we're telling the uh, the game <coughs> that we want to like get the information from the ini file. So what we do is, uh, sorry, I'm I'm a bit tired, but um, uh, so set counter to item value. So yeah, we go to set counter, bam, now we're in this window, we're gonna take the ini file and uh, right click, get value, item, don't forget item, and uh, yeah, and our item is called save, we call it save, oh, we need to remove that zero first, so yes, okay. Now we got two of them, but we don't need two of them. So, <clears throat> so yeah, every time the the frame starts, it will be like, okay, let's take our data from the ini and put it on the counter. The same goes with this one, like the the start. But the thing we do is instead of like um, the item save, we just put start instead. As you can see. Don't forget, you, you really need these, these things. If you, if you don't put these there, it, it, it like, it will say it's an error. So, bam. So yeah, start. This way we tell them like, like imagine like uh, there's two folders in the ini. Like one folder is save, where all like the data from like, yeah, from save is. And the start is in its own category kind of thing. So yeah, <clears throat> I also added this start frame on another like the uh, event thing. And it should add one counter. Add one to the counter, okay? So an end of frame. When we're at end of frame, when you like close down the app or like when you jump over to like another frame in your project, set value, set value, value, yeah. So is it okay? Set value. Look at here. Set value. Bam. The name. Don't forget the name. Item name. So let's take um, from this saved one. Okay. And what value? Right click on save and current value. Okay. So now we've got two of them there. And uh, yeah, we don't need two of them. So and you do the same thing for like uh, the start one, the name, 
So we start, OK, and then right click, current value from the, yeah, from the, the counter we named start. It, it doesn't have to, the names doesn't have to match um, at all. I, uh, it just makes it easier, you know. And this thing here, here like uh, add a point. Click and it just adds a point to the counter. Click the other one. Uh, by the way, it's just inverted color, so you're not confused. And uh, remove point. It sub subtract a coin. A da coin. A point. <coughs> yeah, and this one is yeah. When the uh, when the counter is zero or low or lower, it just sets the counter to zero, so it won't go in into the negatives. You know. Um, and uh, yeah, this is the tinier button. Reset start counter, and it will set it to zero. So yeah. So sorry if I'm if I'm um, if it's hard to understand what I'm saying. It's okay. You can see the time, but uh, I've been up all day, so I'm a bit tired. And yeah, this is pretty much how it works. If you want, like, uh, if you had a problem understanding what I said. Then uh, there's a link to the example file. You can just download the file, open it up in the Fusion, and take a look at it there. And uh, yeah, I I hope you learned something. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.